it's story time with Pastor Lori. Today, we're going to talk about the burning bush. Now, Moses, he grew up in Pharaoh's palace as if he were an Egyptian, even though he knew he wasn't. He knew he was a child of Israel, an Israelite. One day, Moses saw an Egyptian man getting hit by an Israelite worker. This made Moses really mad because he was an Israelite too. And he got so mad that, well, he killed the Egyptian. Yep, he got a little too mad. Have you ever made a mistake because you were just so mad? Yeah, that happened to Moses. So he knew he was in big trouble. So he ran off in the desert to hide for 40 years. That's a long time. A long time to hide. But he was sure if he came back that Pharaoh would find him and kill him. So he stayed in the desert. Moses hid in the desert for so long he met a nice girl, got married, had kids, and became a shepherd. So Moses figured out he'd just stay in the desert and never go back to Egypt ever, no matter what. Until one day... One day, when Moses was minding his own business and his sheep in the desert, something he saw something weird. A bush. It was burning. And it didn't burn up. It just kept burning and burning. Look at the picture. He thought, that's weird. And the bush said something. Well, it really wasn't the bush talking. It was God talking through the bush that was burning. And since that wasn't normal for Moses, or for anyone, he decided he better listen. Hey, Moses, said God, the children of Israel are having a terrible time in Egypt. I heard them crying, and it's time to save them and bring them back to the land I promised. That's great, answered Moses. Then God said, I want you to do it. You, you are going to go to Pharaoh and tell him to let the Israelites leave. And Moses said, that's a terrible idea. And Moses explained he wasn't very popular in Egypt. After all, he had killed a guy. And God said, I'll come with you. Moses went on to say that he really didn't like to speak in public. Maybe someone else would do a better job. And God said, I'll go with you. Moses asked why Pharaoh would even listen to him if he just showed up. And he said, let my people go. And once again, God said... I'll come with you. Then, as if the burning bush wasn't impressive enough, God turned Moses' walking stick into a scary snake. Ooh, look at that. And then he turned it back in his stick because, well, he's God. And he can do things like that. So after stopping running from the scary stick snake, Moses asked, would you do cool stuff like that in front of Pharaoh? And Mo God replied to Moses, stuff even more amazing than that. Moses thought and thought and thought and finally said, okay, I'll go back to Egypt. You'll come with me, right? And God probably said, what part of I'll come with you did you not understand? So very nervously, Moses and his family started walking back to Egypt. God went with him. Well, that's the burning bush today. The truth we can learn from this is we can do hard things because God is always with me. Now talk with your mommy or daddy or your uh, loved ones that are with you. Why did Moses think he was a terrible choice to rescue God's people? When have you needed to trust God because you were afraid? You ever get afraid? So let's pray. Dear God, Help us to remember that when you ask us to do something big, you are always help us. Amen. Well, thank you for tuning in for this short little story time. We'll have one every week. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.